Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will discuss about one more concept in our R programming that is a repeat iterative statement. So in our previous session we have discussed about two different iterative statements that is a while loop and a for loop and then we have discussed about the jumping statements like break and next and now we will see a one more iterative statement that is a repeat right. So the name itself indicates this repeat statement will execute the set of, set of instructions multiple times. So what is the difference over this repeat with the for loop and while loop. So in the while loop, okay, so we are writing the condition. In the while loop we are writing the condition and based upon the result of this condition we are terminating the loop. That means until this condition becomes false the same set of instructions will be keep on executing for multiple iterations right so the termination depends upon this condition so when the termination that means when the iteration should be stopped that will depends upon this condition and coming to the for loop and here we are going with the sequence and membership operator in or not in so the termination depends upon this particular sequence. So whether the loop variable holds the value which is available in this particular sequence. So if the loop variable holds the value which is out of this sequence then immediately the termination will be I mean the iterations will be terminated. So this is for for loop. Now what is a repeat? So we are saying that repeat is also a category of iterative statements. That means here also the same set of instructions will be keep on executing multiple times. So here what about the termination? So when the there will be termination. So here there will be no condition. So we are not able to write any condition and also no sequence. So we are also not going with any other sequence. So just so this is not possible right. So we are not writing any condition and not any sequence. So when the uh, instructions will be terminated if we use this repeat. So the instructions will be terminated with a break statement. With a break statement. That means this repeat is always an infinite loop. Infinite loop right. This repeat is always an infinite loop and the infinite loop will be terminated only with the help of a break statement. So the same way the repeat we are not writing any condition we are not writing any sequence and just by using the repeat keyword we are going to execute the same set of instructions multiple times. So whenever until until the break statement is get executed. So we have already seen the importance the syntax and the working of break in our, uh, in our uh, previous session right. So once go through that one and see whenever the control executes this break immediately the loop will be get terminated. So in the absence of this break in the absence of this break the repeat will be always an infinite loop. Okay so here the syntax is the syntax for a repeat is repeat and give the statements here. Repeat and give the statements right and here we need to write some break we need to give some break so we need to check for some condition and we have to include that break so whenever the condition becomes true then this break will be get executed and the instructions will be the iterations will be terminated right so this is a simple syntax for repeat so this will also be a category of iterative statements iterative statements Right. So, hope you understood the syntax and the working of repeat. Now, we will move on to the system and I will demonstrate the working of repeat by executing a small program, taking a small example and I will execute so that you will be understanding the working of repeat statement. Let's move on to the R studio. Hello friends. So, just now we have seen the syntax of a repeat statement. Now we will see a small 
example and I will demonstrate the working of a repeat statement in R programming. So let us start with the R studio. So let me open that and let me erase the previous content which is available both the inputs and the program and then we'll take the example small small example so i'm clearing all the previous contents yes now uh, let us take one loop variable i'll take loop variable as i is equal to one and i'll repeat i'll use a repeat and here we need to print i and i'll go with the i plus one so what happens here so this is the instructions we are giving these two are the instructions we are giving inside the repeat statement so that means these two instructions will be repeatedly executing right so here not we are not writing any condition we are not writing any sequence so this will lead to infinite loop for example see this will lead to infinite loop so it will start with one and see you can observe it was moving on with a lot of numbers right this is an infinite loop now so without any condition it will be an infinite loop you can see i'll i'll write here i'll write if i is equal to is equal to 10 let us take it as a brick okay now you can execute here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, in the absence of this break, this repeat statement will be an infinite loop. So, by using the break only, we can change the infinite loop to the finite. Okay. So, break statement, we have already seen the working of break statement. So, whenever the control executes the break, immediately the loop will be terminated. The control will come out from the loop. Right? even though the condition becomes false but here we are not writing any condition still if the condition becomes true then this break will be executed and here we are writing the condition when we have to stop the iterations so if i is equal to is equal to 10 then we are saying that break so immediately when i whenever i becomes 10 immediately the control will stop iterating right so this is a working of a repeat statement so we call this repeat as also an iterative statement so for for loop while loop and repeat the three statements comes under iterative statements right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, repeat statement feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.